Hello everybody, welcome to Impressive Image Maker channel. This is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer and shot this image for a long time ago. Well, I colorized yesterday. Uh, this original shot is 4x5 black and white film. I printed it out. Well, I scanned this image and uh, I colorized yesterday. I Add color on model's skin tone, then background, add some colors today. I want to work on this, this color image and also I made this pencil drawing type image by Adobe Photoshop used filter called Find Edges. Now I'm gonna combine together these colors. Go for everything. Well, let's see. I'm going to duplicate this base image, black and white, just turn it off to keep it, just in case I want to compare, I don't know. Then uh, I'm going to make, well, combine this image, group, flatten, to get one image. Alright, this is color and black and white. I add color like so. Set of color on the background, I mean, uh, dark shadow area, kind of blue cast color, coloring. And, uh, well, this lighting is from side soft box, real nice soft light, and uh, from a top light. As you see on the light hit her shoulder and knees and stuff. All right. Now, um, I colorized something, well, interesting, I think. Some cast a green, blue background, dark background, and uh, some designed. As a matter of fact, this is carpet of the background. I just add some color tinting type. Okay, this is a pencil drawing type image. Now, I'm going to change blend mode to, let's see, what kind of image is going to be when you change this blend mode. Hmm. Nice sharp image, isn't it? Look at her eyes. We see the catch light. Color burns nice. Well, overlay. This is interesting too. Soft light. Really, yeah, feel like soft. Compared to overlay, well, this color burn to make this image more impressive. I think that's nice to have this color burn effect on pencil drawing type image. In the background, this is nice for here. I love your color burn on subject, the model. Then. Mm, set a tone on background. I don't know if I... Yeah, I like this kind of mm, pencil drawing type image. I love this. In this case... Okay, I want to combine with this hard light outlines pencil drawing type image and nice for color burn um, model about 40% uh, or so then background is I'm gonna smudge I don't want to see that detail I'm gonna go well make more fuzzy image to make an abstract image then she's gonna be pop up and not show everything just change to line yeah let's make that kind of image yeah just leave the Shadow outlines around here. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna fix some image hard light. Okay, now we're gonna have make group and duplicate this group. Now flatten this image. This is a hard light image, and uh, now turn it off. Now, next one is background is this abstract design a little bit dark 
Yeah, about 60%. All right. This is overlay 60. Duplicate this group. Then flatten this image. Now rename background image. I'm gonna smudge some later on. Okay. Now the main image is gonna be this group. So, okay. Turn it off this overlay effect layer for background. Then this I'm gonna change pencil drawing tab image to color burn. Okay, color burn 50. We can look at it later, so just keep it this way for main image. And uh, let's see, this is going to be the base image for her. Then this one is highlight effect. Mostly, I think I want to see this pencil drawing tab image, but I'm going to smudge this, this area. So I'm going to clean up this dusty look. Okay, go for smudging with the, uh, well, using, uh, using airbrush, airbrushing to medium blend. Let's see how much it's going to smudge. Yeah, it will move well. Okay, now then, smudge to clean up background. Alright. Pretty quick. Okay, I can touch up later. It's pretty clean. Alright, this is for highlight effect. Now, overlay effect. This is background. So, I'm gonna smudge. Especially, uh, go around. Now, I wanna see the texture though. So, I may change smudge tool. Let's see, let's check it out. A little bit more abstract shape. That's what I'm gonna try to do. And at the same time these colors smudging same way. Not on her. Smudge outside. Take this dust off as well. Alright. Now pretty much abstract background. Okay. Now let's see. Okay, this is full background. I'm gonna make mask. Then Mm, I'm gonna invert mask, reveal this mask with airbrushing to soft brush. more natural look showing this way or let's see I want to compare maybe this one here like so then I'm gonna copy with this uh, this layer duplicate layers then turn it off for one then I'm gonna clear this mask and just clear okay this mask I'm gonna hide this time with black brush is same airbrushing soft brush. Now I'm gonna print soft image. Maybe this is a lot more. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Which is soft black? Maybe this. Not much changed. This or this this is touch soft look huh okay just leave one same thing anyways okay delete this okay now i'm using this background 
Okay, now about this image. How am I gonna use this? Now we got this highlight effect. I'm gonna make mask. Let's see. With brush, artistic. Well, let's see. Hmm. Kind of interesting. Doing something good. Well, turning something interesting, it is. Okay, now add mask or just leave it this much. Then, uh, yeah, this is kind of interesting. No, autistic to Terraria, yeah, that's right. Well, let me see, I just want to try to see this black and white base image move all the way up. Then change blend mode. Well, just touch tone down about 20%, multiply. Just touch, maybe linear bar, yeah. Okay, just leave it this way. Well, I think that's it for today and uh, very, very uh, complicated. Uh, that's it and I don't know if I can explain this. That's it for today and uh, thank you for watching my video and uh, I really appreciate for you guys' support. Well, I hope, I really hope this movie is going to give you some kind of idea for your creative work. And uh, you guys have a nice day and see you next time. Bye now. Ciao. Well, that's pretty cool texture of the brush. Yeah, look at this. Alright, thank you.